Junkin Fool out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, not really in the middle of nowhere, over this way. Actually, kind of close to Poorville, too. How's everybody doing today? Happy New Year, if I didn't already tell you that. Debbie says the same thing. Yeah, Happy New Year. I thought I'd show everybody this right here. That's a tree right there. chilly out today. Look at this old cabin. Can you imagine living here back in 18 whatever? Looks like it's got some glass windows. I've never really looked at it. And there's a barn out there. It looks like it's a half a cabin. Maybe it was all cabin at one time. The lower half's logs. That is really cool. I'd like to go explore that. There is a neighbor right across the street. That is cool. I go by here quite often. Actually tried to, or almost thought about trying to get a hold of whoever owned it and see if I could move it. That would be a challenge. Like I don't have enough projects, but that'd be cool to put over on Poorville too. It looks like there's an old well pump out on this side over here. chimney up there probably a one room one room cabin could be awesome though, huh? yep that would be awesome there's the old barn or something somebody's been driving back here if I ever seen somebody here I'd probably ask them if they cared if I looked around private property stay off well I might have added a couple words there, but... Oh, there's some old scrap metal out there. Looks like an old bus frame or something. Big truck frame. Little log down. Get across the creek there. Yeah, I'd like to go exploring that. I like that. That'd be kind of cool. So we're just out joyriding. I'm going to roll this window up. That'd be you steer for me. If we go out the road, we know whose fault it is. Where are you going? Oh, that's not me. That's you now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was kind of fun, wasn't that? Fun looking at that cabin. Oh, yeah, I'd like to look inside. Oh. You want me to drop you off? No. Oh. I wouldn't do that, Debbie. Hard to tell what you'd find in there, though. Oh, probably not much in there. But oh, yeah, I know. Probably some critters. Probably, yeah, might find some coon or something. Yeah. But it sure would be cool to go check it out. Yeah, I, I like I uh, sometimes think, wouldn't it be cool to look at that place a hundred years ago or 150 years ago? Just go back in time. There's a squirrel right there. I don't know if anybody can see that squirrel or not. I can. I just went over to the junkyard. I was looking for a couple projects well a couple things and I didn't see what I was looking for it's pretty cold out today so I didn't look too hard just a couple parts I'll have to go back this spring yeah I gotta finish up some projects because I did kind of glance off in the distance and see a couple things that could be projects but Better wait till I get a couple of them out of the way. I don't need no more projects 
right this minute. So I mounted one of the tires up for the core rear and it ended up being flat the next day. I cleaned the bead and I used sealer and all that. And it, so I got to go out and break it down again or blow it up and use the soapy water on it and see where it's leaking. It was pretty cold that day and it was kind of at the end of the day and I just uh, wire wheeled the rim and the tire bolt and put the sealer on there and blew it up. And I thought that's good, it blew up. It had to, had to fight me a little bit, it was an old tire. And the next day I went out first thing and checked it. I thought even if it's got a slow leak I can get by with it. Well it was completely flat so one of these days I'll go back over and blow it up again and get the water out and check for the bubbles and see what happened. If not I'll break it down. I've kind of been looking at the yard for some 13 inch tires. They're not very uh, common so I have sometimes where I actually look for stuff and can't find it. And I'll drive around and sometimes you'll find the stuff set right on the curb. Once in a while you get lucky, but... Yep. But we haven't got much, much snow. We had a couple flurries the other day. No shoveling this year, at least not yet. We've got a lot of winter left. Stop? You don't need to stop, you're in the country. So here we are at Poorville too. We ought to put a driveway in this place. Like four wheel at some time, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we still got some of this old house we gotta clean up through here that was tore down. We tore it down. projects over here. So this looks to be a brand new hydraulic hose. That I picked up somewhere. I didn't buy it. It's plugged. I'm gonna clean that up. Oh, I, I couldn't blow through it. But I need a few of these. I gotta take this as a pattern to the. I gotta something keeps flashing into my phone over here. But I gotta add to these hoses here and go into this controller there so I got to get a couple fittings anyway so I need about I think one two these hoses here got to be fed through the inside or behind that cylinder and then down through the inside of this then they come out down here There's some place I had a rubber boot type thing that went around it. So I gotta figure out something for that just to stop them from rubbing. And I gotta figure out how many hoses I gotta do that with. Reroute these hoses. So I'm back and forth on different projects. This is the um, arm I'm building. 
whatever that thing is it took me forever it took me so long to get it out i can't remember what it's called but this is the one i gotta make up i gotta cut this off it's already hitting the other one somehow i that one's shorter that one's longer this one's shorter needs to be done about that size but anyway kind of looking for a wedge bed to put on one of my trucks I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it on this one I'll probably put it on the other one if I ever get them where they can be driven on the road projects that one's all greased up so I gotta make that one just like this one and they've rebuilt the cylinder for that side there and I actually got the kit for this side in case it's leaking. Anyway, that's what's going on over in Portville 2. Project Central. Happy New Year's to everybody. Hope I get some stuff accomplished this year. Goodbye now.